So I think a really big problem that a lot of people these days have is that our priorities are not straight. Let's talk about the Amazon rainforest. What the is going on over there? So unless you've been living in a hole, you know that there is a wildfire, many wildfires going on in the Amazon jungle right now. I read that the rate of which the wildfires are spreading is it's burning down two soccer fields worth of trees at a time in the Amazon rainforest. And it's not just one wildfire, there's multiple fires happening that's burning down so many trees there right this minute. So when I first heard about this, I thought this was done by natural causes, but no. Did you know that these wildfires were man-made? That means we are burning down these trees and it was intentional and this is happening deliberately. Listen people, the Amazon produces so much oxygen for the earth. So much so that many people call the Amazon the lungs of the earth. But if we cut down all of these trees and burn them down, now they're saying that the Amazon might not have enough trees to produce enough oxygen for us, and it might actually turn into something that produces more carbon dioxide than cleans the carbon dioxide in the air. So looking into this topic further, the craziest thing to me right now is that the president of that country is not doing anything to solve this problem. In fact, the president, he is a pro-business type of person who during his campaign, he promised that he would revive Brazil's economy through exploring the potential of the Amazon rainforest. So the consequences of burning down the Amazon rainforest, not just for the trees, but think about the indigenous people that live there. And not to mention the millions of different animal species that live there, if they don't have a place and environment to live, these animals that are so precious and these people who have no other place to go, they could become extinct. So I think a really big problem that a lot of people these days have is that our priorities are not straight. We live in a capitalist society which places money at the number one top priority. And if it's good for business, if it boosts the economy, if it's good for money in my pocket, if it's good for my family's wealth, then F it all, just burn it all down. Who gives a about anything? But let me ask you this. Let's say, okay, money is your top priority. That's okay, I get it. Money gives you things and it gives you a comfortable life. I get why people pursue money. Let's say you have all the money in the world to give you a nice house, nice car, riches beyond your imagination. Let's say you have all that. But let's say as a result of getting that money, now there's no clean water, there's no clean oxygen, there's no clean food for us to eat every single day. If that is the case, can you really truly live a happy life with all of that money? Because at the end of the day, the reason why people work so hard and try to get so much money is because they want health, they want happiness, they want peace, they want comfort, they want security for the people they love and their family. But beyond all of that, I'm not saying that that intention is bad at all. But beyond all of that, at the foundation, we all have to live on this earth for us to be able to enjoy that money. But if we don't have food, if we don't have good air, if we're breathing in smog, if we're breathing in carbon dioxide, if we're eating contaminated food, if we're drinking water that is filled with heavy metals and toxins and it's killing our bodies, what good will that money do for you? So an idea I wanna bring up that Ilchi Lee, the founder of Brain Education, really emphasizes and I resonate with so much and I'm even guilty of never having thought about this myself before I, I practice brain education, is this. People need to recover their human character. What do I mean by human character? It's this sense of humaneness, this sense that makes us human, and this realization that without the earth, we simply cannot survive no matter how rich we are, how poor we are, what we have, what we don't have. We simply, on a logical, fundamental level, we cannot survive if the earth doesn't provide for us. So when we, 
don't realize this and we place the wrong priorities at the top. So putting things like money at the top rather than the earth thriving, giving us clean air, clean water, clean food. If we don't place that at the top and we place money at the top, that's when people lose this humaneness inside and they start to live for selfish means for their own greed. And when we place our greed in front of logic, in front of the right priorities, that's when we start to destroy things that are valuable, hurt other people, trample over each other, compete with each other, not give a care about anyone else except for me. And I think what's happening at the Amazon right now is a direct result of people who don't know their priorities. They don't have their priorities straight and they don't even think about Am I acting from the right sense of character? Am I acting like a real human being? If we can all think about and get our priorities straight and know that on a foundation, we cannot survive without clean air, clean water, and clean food. If we don't place those at the top of everyone's priority list, we are all going to destroy ourselves and destroy each other and destroy the earth. And that is what we are seeing in the Amazon wildfires right now. The fires that were deliberately and intentionally created for the sake of boosting the economy and making a country rich and putting money in people's pockets. So everyone, please, 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 especially in our capitalistic society that we live in today, please get your priorities straight and don't put money at the top. Let us wake up and place clean air, clean water, clean food at the top of our priority list. And let's work towards conserving that because without that, none of us can be happy and none of other people on this earth can be happy. There's nothing wrong with wanting to boost your country's economy, especially if you live there and you're directly influenced by the politics and the results of the president's actions. I'm not saying that that desire to have a good economy is bad, but what I'm saying is let's recheck the way that we are trying to achieve that goal. Environmentalists are saying that at the rate of which these fires are burning down the Amazon rainforest, the damage is irreversible. That means we can possibly never see the diverse flora, the diverse animal species, and all of the oxygen that the Amazon provides to this day. And if you think long terms, maybe they might get a small economic boost from burning down the forest to create more land for cattle and create more land for uh, logging and livestock. But with all the carbon emissions that the Amazon rainforest can now expel as a result of this, the economic boost actually is very short term and cannot be sustained for a long time. So this action can actually come back and bite you in the butt. So now what I think we must all do is shift our thinking from placing money at the top of our priority list and placing clean water, clean food, clean oxygen for every single person as the priority and base our thoughts, our actions, our belief systems to revolve around that priority. Is this action, is this thought, is this behavior, is this word helpful for bringing clean air, clean food, clean oxygen, clean water for everybody? If yes, then do it. It benefits all life. If no, I encourage every single person to rethink how can we make this idea better so that we can take action and do stuff that benefits all life, benefits me and also benefits other people together instead of benefits me, but it destroys everyone else and I don't care. And if you really like that thought and you wanna learn more about this philosophy, how you can get more deeply involved in placing the earth as a priority, I invite you to check out our sister nonprofit, the Earth Citizens Organization. I'll link their address down in the description below. So situations like this that's happening down in the Amazon rainforest in Brazil is not just happening in that country, but throughout many countries in the world who destroy natural resources to boost that country's economy. So I want to hear your suggestions on alternative ways we can create wealth, create abundance for people while maintaining the natural resources and not destroying our home planet. Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts and suggestions. So I hope through this video, you can also be 
outraged at what's going on down in the Amazon. We need to wake up and tell the people in charge, please, please, please place your priorities straight. Let's speak up because if more and more speak up and rise against this type of behavior, the people in charge have no other choice but to listen and change. It's when we don't say anything and we just sit here and just take it like big bullies trying to bully us. If we just sit quiet, then they have control over us. But we as people need to stand up and speak against them and tell them what is right, what is the clear priority, and I need your help in telling people what is right. So let's spread this message and save the earth together. Thank you so much.